I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison of three exchanges. I sent $5,000 over to Bing X. I have some money crushing it over in Fibit. All of these exchanges are linked below. As a matter of fact, let's clean up here. In the Bitcoin Cash, 45%. I will take that as well. Yes, thank you. Today, we will talk about Bitunex. So I sent another $5,000 here, okay, in USDT or $49.98, whatever, okay? And what we need to do before we do anything else, it always lands in the spot account. We can transfer it right here. We need to transfer it to the trading account. Let me show you another way to do that. We're going to go up to futures. There's only one kind of futures here, so it makes it simple. Here's your available balance. Now we need to transfer all of the money from the spot account to USDTM so we can trade. Look how simple this is. Submit. And here's my money to trade. Today, special day, I feel like shorting Bitcoin Cash and XRP. I want to short XRP and I'll show you how to do it. You can long XRP or short XRP. This is the local bottom. I've already entered my favorite time frames here with the edit button and then save. So I have the six hour, the one hour, the three minute, and the one minute on this beautiful Sunday morning. So I spread money across all three exchanges. This, look at that Starlink. Idiots bought that. It was up yesterday like 80%. I just waited. I dropped 500 in each one, but let's go over here now. Okay, so XRP. You know, XRP had news. We're going to wait for the three minute cycle. Now, this order price, I don't even use that because I like to do market orders, which is the best available price. And the cost, you set this once and forget it. Cost value. Why do you want that? To make it easy, you want to know if you put five hundred dollars here okay no matter what you choose for leverage you put five hundred dollars in the trade now although this can this exchange okay is conservative okay as far as how much leverage they'll give you right instead of giving you 100x they'll give you up to 75x on xrp okay but if we go here there's really no need for KYC. Let me show you. I've done no KYC at all. I signed up and I have a $200,000 a day withdrawal limit. How did I sign up? A username and an email address. No VPN needed. They're filling a niche to where other exchanges won't go. So, and they're speeding up the, what holds the defaults to hike in a she now. Look at that. I like that they have fast withdrawals too and really, really good support. Let's do a drill down on XRP this morning. Okay, it's weakening on the six, but it's Sunday. It's going to be wild. Let's see if the one hour is supporting the six hour. The one hour has chop. Oh, and now it's going on a downward slide. Let's look at the three minute. I don't really like to short down here. Let's look at the one minute. Yeah. I call it jump off points. I'd rather have a higher jump off point. So we'll talk about XRP for now. By the way, you can put in a percentage of your wallet, okay, which some people like to do. Now here, okay, it blends it all into one order. So remember that you're not going to have five XRP shorts. You're going to have one that you can add to it. I like to add to winners, not losers. This, we don't care about. Anything down here, we don't care about. Um, trailing stop, we never use. Limit orders, it defaults to limit. We like to be on market. So it's going to give you one price here. And remember, you want to know the cost of something. Cost value. We don't want to deal in XRPs. Let's deal in dollars. Why? Because decimals suck. So let's say you choose XRP. 
and you want to short it at 20x with $1,000. This is so simple. You put in $1,000 here. Now I might want to leave this for the day. Okay, I might add to it. 20x is so slow. Let's see what they let me do at 50x. So that's how you change your leverage if you want something that's not red. Well, that's how you change your, your leverage up here. You change to light mode here. A lot of people like this. I recommend you don't trade on your phone. Okay. And you can see the lag is gone. I'm going to wait until after the AM candle before I do anything at 8 a.m. The New York City candle. It's Sunday morning. A lot of the morons that like to go long. Okay, what they do is they sleep till 10 a.m. Look, XRP just had a supposed victory against SEC. Okay, let's call it a victory. That's what they said. That's what all the people, the XRP army was excited about. But the price didn't go to a dollar, five dollars, or 15 or 20 or even a hundred dollars, like people are hoping. But it's still 52 cents. So now there's probably going to be more court action. Okay. But the truth is, is that nobody cares. All they care about is the loss. I think XRP may be a very, very good prime target. Too short. Look at that. I'm going to drop a thousand dollars there and sell short. Um, I'm going to do it at 50x. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Watch. Am I at market? Yes. Current or, oh, they won't let me go with that much. Based on $5,000, I can't do that much leverage. So we'll try to reduce it to 30x and see. Self so short. Yep, there it is. So it's in. Okay. Really? Now it's, look, negative, not even half of 1%. Okay, that's a nice entry. And so let's go back to talking. I'll leave this. It'll go up and down all day, whatever it does, about XRP. So all this news hit the other day, and it went up like a penny. Now, the takeaways are that the legal issues are not really over, okay? They just found that the sales of XRP on public exchanges were not unregistered security offerings by Ripple Labs. Do you want to know something interesting? Ripple Labs owns XRP, right? Ah, we are starting to become profitable in the moment. You have to close over fees. Fees are between, I wish if somebody, Recky or somebody is listening, can you put dollar signs here? Can you put this in dollars? Why do we need to put it in XRP? Other exchanges put it in dollars. It makes it easier, okay? I think I closed all my Bing X, hold on. No, I closed one of them. But look, you see, this is in dollars, right? Look, 500 is my dollars and 2,500, five times, five times five. Okay, that's how you get 2,500 here. 500 times five, duh. It's in dollars. It's easy to see. I like that. I don't know what this alien T shit is. Maybe it's Chinese. I don't know. Put dollars here, man. So let's go back. I'm going to leave this for now talking about xrp oh oh this just came out the other day a few days ago did ripple just dump 75 million unlocked xrp tokens right apparently so basically it says these are uh monthly amounts it's called that they call inflation strategically sold as the one experienced during a pump and dump event with bitcoin Okay, and the same day Ripple spent 75 million XRP and crypto media outlets spread false rumors the cryptocurrency is about to get SEC approval, BlackRock, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and it made the Bitcoin price dump, I mean pump, right? Now it's coming back down to earth. So, you know, hey, you got these people selling against you. I don't know. I thought with all that big news about winning against the SEC, it would go at least to its all-time high of $3, right? That didn't happen. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. All the links are below. 
for the three exchanges I use. I like Bit2Nex the best, and there's a link for my Discord and consultation. Happy Sunday.